Hey everybody, this is Jason with GP Woodworks. This is the first little tiny workbench slash work surface thing that I built when I first started trying to get into woodworking. So I've recently started working on our vehicles myself rather than taking them to a shop. The last place we took them, and I'm not going to say the name of the place, some of the people that are subscribed live nearby. And this place ended up making it right, but in the in the beginning they just straight up ripped us off. So, I've decided with YouTube as a resource, I'm going to start working on our vehicles myself. Now, I do have some mechanics tools, not a ton, but what I do want is one of those rolling work carts. I'm not going to go buy one, because I'm a cheap bastard, and I have this thing right here that I can convert into one. So that's what this video is going to be about. Right, so the decision now is whether to start on the drawers or wrap the carcass. I think I'm going to wrap the carcass. I'm going to do that just with half inch birch. So I need to uh, look at these scrap pieces I've got here and see the most efficient way I can get that done. So I'll get the camera turned back on in a minute. All right, now I can start working on the drawers. This thing is going to be insanely overbuilt. It's already insanely overbuilt. So, I've got a stacked dado set in here, and I typically, I'm, I've owned this for quite some time and I do use it. I'm not fond of it. The only time I really use it is when I'm doing stuff like this. Um, I, the reason I don't like it is it's so precise. And this, this is a, a really, really cheap Harbor Freight uh, stacked dado set. But you can dial these in for the exact fit you're looking for. And I've done that here. Um, it took me setting this thing up five or six times to get it exactly where I wanted it. But in the end, this is the fit. So, got the half inch drawer bottoms 
are dead on fit for this groove. It's friction fit, it's absolutely perfect. But it took me entirely too long to get that. So I'm very impatient, but if I'm gonna go through the trouble to set this thing up, I'm gonna go through the trouble to get that fit. Uh, and it's not something you're gonna use all the time because they're honestly a pain in the ass. I'm gonna take this whole stack, groove them all, and then I'll have that whole stack sitting over here and, and then I'll decide what step I'm gonna take next. Um, short of making a new top for this thing, the only thing I have left for me to call this thing done is drawer fronts. So to make the drawer fronts kind of blend in, I know it's just shop project, it doesn't have to be gorgeous, but just so I don't have a bunch of different surfaces on the front, I'm going to take this 2x12 sitting in the floor right here and that will become all the drawer fronts and the pulleys. I'll be putting a new top on this at some point and I'll be making handles pulls for the drawers um, until then it's easy enough to reach in and grab them but it's wrapped in half inch plywood so I can screw stuff to the side of it and use the sides of it for storage if I want but anyway um, I've actually used it a couple times already it's pretty handy it's a little bulky but I'm just rolling it out to the driveway to work on the cars. So that's as far as I'm going to take the video. Um, I'll probably do a separate video for the handles. I'm not going to do them on the lathe. <laughs> yeah, trying to save money and work on cars myself. And I don't know how to work on cars. So it's fun. It's a fun learning experience. Frustrating, but 
I find myself getting more and more angry at the people who design engines and cars. I get in there to work on it and it just doesn't seem to make sense how they expect you to actually do that, do the job. So I know there's a couple of you out there that are actually mechanics and I probably sound like a whiny little sissy baby and I'm okay with that. So anyway, uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video.